Mark, how are you today? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Paralyzed with horror, we continue to watch the movie. The rabbit hopping around the field hopes to find something to eat. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at participle phrases, so stay tuned. If you want to improve on your writing skills, this lesson will help you a lot. So why do we use participle phrases? Because they give color and action to a sentence. But first of all, let me tell you that some students have difficulty finding the difference between a clause and a phrase. If there is a subject and a verb with a predicate, then it's a clause. If there is a noun but no verb, and a verb but no noun, and does not have a predicate, then it's a phrase. So participle phrases act as adjectives. They modify the subject, so a noun or a pronoun of a sentence, or even whole statements. There are two types of participle phrases. Past participle phrase, one could be regular, ending in ed, or irregular, which you know the irregular past participles, and present, which end in ing. So let's look at the different formulas. We have the participle phrase, which introduces the main clause of a statement, and the formula for that would be participle phrase plus comma plus the main clause. Like my example, paralyzed with horror, comma, we continued to watch the movie. So here we have paralyzed. Paralyzed here is the past participle phrase and is a regular past participle phrase, right? Paralyzed with horror, we continue to watch the movie. So paralyzed with horror, who? We. We is the subject of the whole statement. Let's take a look at the second example. Forgotten by its owner, the dog strayed across the road and wandered off. So we have forgotten. Forgotten is the irregular uh, past participle of forget. So forgotten by its owner. What or who? The dog, right? So it's modifying the dog right here. Strayed across the road and wandered off. So the second formula that I have for you is that participle phrases can be placed at the end of a statement. In this case, it describes the word right in front of it. No punctuation used to connect the two parts are needed. So, we have the main clause plus the participle phrase, and that's it. We don't have a comma. We don't have punctuation here. And the example is, he was excited to see his growing knees showing up on his doorstep. So we have the participle phrase showing up on his doorstep and showing right here is the present participle phrase because it ends with ing and describes his growing knees, okay? And not the subject, which is he. Now the third formula, when a participle phrase ends a main clause and modifies a word Further up, you will need a comma. So the main clause plus comma plus the participle phrase. So the example is, Jim finally attended his high school reunion, comma, participating after a persistent request from his classmates. Here we have a present participle phrase, participating, and it modifies what? It modifies Jim, right? So Jim finally attended his high school reunion, comma, participating after a persistent request from his classmates. So we need a comma right there. The final formula is the subject plus comma plus participle phrase plus comma main clause. Like my example, the rabbit, comma, hopping around the field, comma, hopes to find something to eat. So here we have hopping, which is the present participle, hopping around the field, present participle phrase, and modifies the rabbit, right? The subject of the whole statement. 
One last thing I would like to mention. Do not confuse the present participle phrase, or the present participle in this case, with a gerund phrase. A gerund phrase will always act as a noun. Instead, we saw that the present participle acts as an adjective. Let's take a look at two examples. Eating too much is not good for your health. So here we have eating too much acting as the noun or the subject of the whole sentence, right? And so is a gerund phrase. Eating too much is not good for your health. Let's take a look at the participle phrase example. Eating too much, comma, he got fat in just a month. Can you complete this sentence with a participle phrase? Mm? He ran towards the front desk of the hotel. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any comments, any requests, you may type them under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. You're always welcome to share the lesson. Don't forget about my community section on my channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week with a new lesson. Take care, bye bye.